dropped your letter that said you were coming in this morning. So we'll be waiting for you. Thank you for coming and your assistance. Your Excellency, once again, thank you very much for the opportunity, as we indicated in the letter, following yesterday's celebration of the census night, today marks the first day of the enumeration exercise that will take place for the next 14 days. And certainly we need to whip up um, participation for the activity. So as part of the data collection, we decided that we would visit and do the enumeration of your household. So that is why we are here and with your permission, I would want to start. Your Excellency, I would begin with some background information so that I apprise you on the essence of the census undertaking and get your consent before we get into the data collection um, exercise. Your Excellency, Your First Lady, as you are aware, census undertaking is a decennial activity which gives us an opportunity to update our records on five fronts, our social demographic characteristics, our economic activity, and three other key areas, specifically housing, sanitation, and some selected areas, i.e. persons with difficulty in performing activities, ICT, and economic activity, which underscores the issues around employment and unemployment. Your Excellency, we're going to do this exercise over on an average 45 minutes period, and that is what we do generally. But for this exercise, we're going to go through the basic um, issues. But what I want to emphasize is the confidentiality and the assurance to providers of information that it's just for statistical uh, purposes. We're not going to identify individuals in the data collection. And this is reference to our Statistical Service Act 1009, that was 1003, that was passed in 2019. Specifically, Clause 50 talks about strict confidentiality. So the information that you're going to provide would not be used for any targeting of persons or targeting of specific groups of people. It's going to be used only at the aggregated level. The data that we're going to put out there for further analytical work would, would de-identify all the personal information in there, and for that matter, it would be an anonymized data. Again, Clause 54 of the same Act, Your Excellency, assures providers of information that we're not going to release that information for any use, such as for tax, tax purposes. So we are sure that this is strictly for statistical reasons. Your Excellency, on the count of the confidentiality and the assurance, do we have your permission to proceed, please? I want to thank you very much for this visit to begin the process of enumeration of counting. Uh, the numbers of us in Ghana with me. It's important for everybody in Ghana, citizen, Ghanaian, people who were present here on census night, everybody. To go through this exercise is a painless one. Uh, we have been assured by those who are collecting the information that it will be treated in a confidential manner. The act under which they're operating insists on that. And I have no doubt about the integrity and the credibility of those who are conducting the census, that they will keep to the provisions of the Act. But it is extremely important that each and every one of us, everybody who was here on census night, i.e. last night, the 27th of June, no matter where you come from, no matter your ethnic origin, no matter your religious persuasion, no matter your political affiliation, so long as you are a human being who was here last night on census night, you are entitled to be counted. And that is the exercise on which the government statistical services embarked on and has began. It has began with me. So I want to encourage everybody to participate in this exercise, to make sure that we have all the information that a census is meant to provide. It is not by accident that every 10 years, the United Nations and global bodies responsible for population have insisted that every nation should count its population, should count the number of people who are present on census night, so that it provides those of us who, are, who have the responsibility of taking decisions on behalf of our fellow citizens, the wherewithal, the means, the data that enables us to plan effectively for the development of the country. So it's an extremely important exercise. 
and I'm appealing to each and every one of you. Cooperate with the enumerators. Cooperate with the census officials. They're doing an exceptionally important and sensitive job, and they need the cooperation of each and every one of us. So I'm appealing to you to cooperate with them and let us have a successful 2020-2021 stroke census because you all know why it was delayed from last year so that this year's census is, is, a, is, is a successful one and will provide us with the information that we need. So once again, let me thank you and your associate for coming to undertake your, this important task. I'm the first one to do it. All right. Not at all.